This is a second practice problem in our Hardy-Weinberg extra practice problem set. In this question, I ask, is the population evolving? We're going to be working with the mosquito population. This population can either have solid, colored wings, or spotted wings. For this problem, our solid trait will use the big W allele. Our spotted trait will use little w. Just like before, we have to calculate our observed genotype frequencies. We can have homozygous dominant. And there's 462 individuals. We can be a heterozygote. And we have 436. Or we can be recessive. We have 102. That means that our total population size is 1,000 mosquitoes. Our observed frequencies is 462 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.462. For our heterozygote, it's 436 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.436. And for our homozygous recessive, we have 102 divided by 1,000, or 0 0.102. These are the observed genotype frequencies as they exist in the population. Now we need to calculate our predicted frequencies. But before we do that, we have to calculate our allele frequencies. So we'll start with our dominant allele frequency first. This is P. We take two times the number of individuals that are homozygous dominant plus the number of individuals that are heterozygote divided by two times our population size. I get 1360 divided by 2000, which is equal to an allele frequency of 0 0.68. Our recessive allele frequency is Q. We get 2 times 102 plus 436 divided by 2 times 1000. I get 640 divided by 2,000 for an allele frequency of 0 0.32. Using these allele frequencies, I can then calculate our predicted frequencies. So P squared, this is our predicted frequency of the homozygous dominant. 0 0.68 squared, which is equal to 0 0.4624. and I'll place it up in my table. Our heterozygote genotype frequency, predicted genotype frequency, is 2 times P times Q. So 2 times 0 0.68 times 0 0.32. 0 0.4352. predicted homozygous recessive is Q squared, which is 0 0.32 squared, or 0 0.1024. I carried out our frequencies to one more decimal place uh, to show you that sometimes the numbers get really close uh, to what we actually observe, but they might not be exactly equal. In this case, we could round, uh, but when we round, one number will be off. In this case, it doesn't matter because we are extremely close to our observed frequencies. 0 0.102 for our observed homozygous recessive, 0 0.102 after rounding for our homozygous recessive. The only one that would differ is our heterozygote. Our predicted genotype frequency is 0 0.435 versus our observed of 0 0.436. This isn't enough of a difference for me to conclude that this population is evolving. Therefore, because our observed equals our predicted, our population is not evolving. No, the population 
is not evolving.